Every crafter uses it, and every crafter needs it, but it's the one craft supply that no one talks about. Any guesses? It's chipboard. Today we're gonna to talk about some of the different ways you can use chipboard and which size is best for your project. I'm a huge fan of adding dimension to my craft projects and I use a lot of chipboard. We actually have three different colors in different sizes and dimensions. We not only have this more natural warm brown, but we also have a black and a white, which is perfect for creating lots of other projects. All of our chipboard is also acid free and archival. So you know the time you're spending on your beautiful project is gonna last and stand the test of time. So the first size is the 20 point, which to give you an idea, that's about the thickness of a cereal box. So this is really great for cutting out gift tags, really perfect for die cutting, different things. And it also makes a really good insert backing for things like mini albums, or you can add it in for a traveler's notebook as well. The next size that we have is actually the 50 point, which we have in an eight and a half by 11, as well as a 12 by 12. And that's gonna come in the three different colors, which is great. And to give you an idea of a 50 point, it actually has about the thickness of a penny when you kind of turn it on the side. So that's perfect for so many projects. It adds just a little bit of extra sturdiness than the 20 point. So this size is actually really great if you wanted to fold it up, for example, you really could make your own fun DIY journals or even a traveler's notebook. Also, if you took a little bit of the scrapbook.com exclusive adhesive, you really could make your own stickers with a little bit of pattern papered and chipboard or you could even make your own ephemera. That would be really great as well. And the thickest chipboard sizes that we have are going to be an 85 point, which all of the natural browns come in the 85 point, which is super thick. So that's about the size of two dimes put together. And also we have a 90 point in the black, which is also right around the same size at a 90 point, which is about two dimes stuck together. So we have both of those in an eight and a half by 11, as well as a 12 by 12. And this size is definitely super, super thick. So if you use this, you can definitely use it in your die cutting machine with Biggs dies or steel rule dies. I would not recommend trying this with your thinner dies though. So these sizes are perfect for creating a backing for a mini album. And you can actually even use your crocodile to get through these sizes, or you could even use a cinch if you wanted to bind it that way. So with a chipboard of this size though, you are definitely gonna wanna make sure that you're using some kind of rotary cutter, or you could even use the tonic guillotine cutter to cut through this. That would work really well for this, as well as you could also just use a box cutter and a craft ruler. So these not only make really great mini albums, I've actually used the 12 by 12 sizes myself to mount some of the 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts that I make and display them on my wall, frame them in glass, and that actually looks really cool as well. So the possibilities really are endless with what you can do with a chipboard of this size. What types of projects do you like to create with chipboard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like the chipboard that you see here, go ahead and head to scrapbook.com or check the description below for more details. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.